Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am Hosanna Devi. The Lord gave me a message. I had a dream a few days ago. In this dream, we were in the church and we just processed into the church. We were in the altar. And what I saw was uh, I went to the vestry, which is a room that uh, is built attached to the church that the pastor gets dressed and even the choristers dress up. So I went there and while I was there, I saw an evangelist. He was lying on the ground and he was prophesying. All of a sudden, I discovered that his face changed. He became another person, but a man of God. He became a pastor. Though I didn't recognize the face of the pastor, I saw in the dream, but he was a man of God. The next thing I saw was that he was lying on the ground and termites were eating him up. Uh, if you're familiar with termites, termites are uh, kind of whitish ants, they are uh, social ants, they build nests and they live inside the nest, they use mud to build nests and termites were eating him up from the toes, he was being eaten up, so I told him, termites are eating you up, can you please stand up and, and escape, he told me he, he had no strength, no power to stand up, but uh, as he was talking to me, he was Sounding so well, he wasn't feeling the pains of the termites, he was so calm, but the termites were eating him up. So I told him that they are eating you up, and they, they were eating him up to the extent that they got to his legs, and I saw that he was being, uh, he was sinking, he was sinking into the ground as the termites were eating him, he was sinking into the ground. So I begged him, I said, please, can you please rise up? Uh, the termites are eating you up. He said he had no strength to stand up. So I was surprised. When I saw the situation, I woke up. I was shocked and I was praying and asking God, God, what is this challenge? What, what, what is this? How can termites be eating up somebody that is alive and he can't run for his life? Termites are very tiny, uh, small uh, ants. They were eating him up, but he had no strength to escape. The Lord spoke to me that night and told me that Satan is seducing his ministers. That the devil is in the business of seducing his pastors. That what I saw was exactly that what I saw is exactly what is happening in the church today. That the devil is initiating a lot of persons, ministers of God, they are being initiated into the kingdom of darkness. And when they get initiated, it's like they have no power over themselves. They have no power over themselves. Though they know the truth, they can no longer speak it. Though they know they are going to hell, they can no longer make up their minds to do the right thing. It's like when somebody receives the mark of the beast, though they will know that what they have received is wrong, but they will have no option. They won't be able to reverse the situation again, reverse the process. So God warned me and told me, tell my children that many of my ministers are being initiated into the kingdom of darkness and when they get initiated they know the truth but they can't speak the truth i know this message is going to offend a lot of christians the lord gave me a message about so few months ago which i posted online it is the title of the message is urgent warning to uh, first pastors and prophets and it's on ego eye opener i will share the link just check you will see the link uh, uh, in the in description of this video, a lot, lots of persons started fighting against the message and saying all sorts of things. But I know that the Lord 
is going to come back and he will judge these people. But our concern, my concern in person is that they are leading people astray. Lots of persons are going to hell. Lots of souls have been condemned to hell. Please, stop running after these prophets and pastors. They are turning the church of God upside down. The truth has been buried. In the name of miracles, in the name of signs and wonders, lots of persons are being led astray. Please, please, love your soul and escape for your life. The Ark of Noah is about being shot. The rapture will soon take place, but they are not telling you anything about the rapture. All they are feeding you with is miracles, is prosperity messages, is all the good things of life. Living good and having a good time on earth. They are not warning you about your soul. Please, please, repent for the kingdom of God is coming soon. Those persons, their consciences have been sold out. They have no conscience of their own again. Please repent. Repent and stop running after these people. They are leading you to hell. I tell you, run after your Bible. Run after the word of God. If you follow the word of God, you will never, never regret it. But I tell you one thing. If you fail to repent, if you allow these pastors and false prophets and teachers to deceive you, you are going to fight with them in hell. You are going to fight against them in hell, but it will be too late. You are going to fight against them because you will blame them for deceiving you. Please, a stitch in time saves nine. Thank you for watching this message. Just share this message. There are other messages that the Lord has given to me that I'm going to pass across to you. Thank you and God bless you. Remain rapture ready. God bless you.